Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the stepper in Massive to control the LFO rate um, to create quite a nice wobble effect um, without having to use any automation uh, in your door or kind of multiple instances of Massive to create the kind of variation in the LFO rate. The sound we're going to end up with is this. Which is uh, sound created just using one MIDI note, uh, no automation, um, no pitch bend automation. Um, it's just all done with Inside Massive, basically. Um, so go ahead and create a new sound. I'm um, going to use Rough Mouth 2 oscillators, or Wave Shape, sorry, to create the sound. I'm going to pitch the first oscillator down three octaves. By holding Alt or Option and clicking and dragging, I can move um, the, the pitch of the oscillator an octave at a time, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, Move the wavetable position to about halfway and route the oscillator to filter one. Uh, also make it a format and take the format shift right down to the bottom. I'm going to do a similar thing for the second oscillator. Except this one's only going to go one octave down. So already we're on quite a nice sound. Uh, I'm going to use a screen filter. Uh, it's nice to screen filter, you can introduce some distortion into the sound um, just using the scream and resonance knobs here. Um, I'm going to modulate the cutoff here with the LFO. So I'm going to drag this over. I'm going to pull the modulation up to about halfway. Um, the filter's a little, little way down from halfway. Um, <clears throat> And then I'm going to use, I'm going to shape the curve of the LFO here. Um, first off, I'm going to get an 80 20 RMP. And also going to use a sine wave as well. And just moving them around until I've got quite a nice sound, really. Um, and then I'm going to change this LFO into a stepper. I'm um, going to sync it, set the ratio to 1 over 2 and have it running over four steps which basically means each one of these individual steps is going to is sort of representing a beat within this bar that we've got playing here. Um, so I'm going to go back to the LFO and drag the stepper to control the rate of the LFO and pull the modulation all the way up and then I'm going to start playing with some values here to create a little bit of a sort of modulated wobble sound. <clears throat> so again you can use this trick where you hit hold option or alt and I can move these values up to an exact value as I go up and down which is nice rather than having to sort of draw or sort of move it up and down until you get an exact sort of value. So I'm going to go 2, 3, 5 and 1. It's going to slowly increase the LFO rate and then drop it right back down again. So we're controlling the LFO rate just by putting values in here. So what we're going to do now is going to start fattening the sound up, um, <clears throat> introduce some, some white noise, put it on bright, um, and turn the amp up to full. Just by bringing the colour down a little bit, I'm getting a bit more of an interesting tone. I'm going to pull some, put some feedback into the sound as well. Which always thickens the sound up, makes it sound quite nice. I'm um, going to give it four voices, uh, make it monophonic as well. Um, turn the master volume down a little bit so it's not going into the red. Um, turn the pitch cutoff on and just pull this slider down a little bit just to thicken the sound a bit more. I'm also going to make the sound really wide by turning the pan position on, keep it on fully inverted. Just spreading that sound out right across the speakers. Um, <clears throat> next up, I'm going to put some distortion in there. 
Tele tune distortion. Don't need to go too crazy with this, just dial in a little bit of drive, a little bit of the dry wet. Uh, and I'm going to use a dimension expander as well just to give the, the sound a bit more space and depth. Um, uh, and then to create that little pitch bend at the end of the, the last beat there, I'm going to use uh, Performer uh, and going to have similar settings to the stepper um, <clears throat> Uh, in the sense that we're going to be running over four steps here, we're going to sync it. The ratio is going to be one over two. Um, I'm going to have everything pulled down here, but I'm going to load in this curve, this upwards ramp here. And then what I'm going to do is drag this performer to the pitch of the oscillators. I'm going to go up six semitones, and basically it's going to create a pitch rise in on that last step of the the bar that we're cycling here. And I think I might pull this down a little bit. This this is exactly at one before, but I'm going to pull it down a little bit just because it seems to not quite sort of run perfectly over the bar here. There you go, that's sounding quite nice. Um, and the final thing is just bringing a little bit of a lead sound in here. So you can turn on oscillator free, take it up an octave. Um, saw wave will do really for what we're trying to keep on spectrum because it's always quite a nice tonal sort of sound with spectrum. Route this to, us, uh, to filter one again um, and drag the performer over so it's got that pitch bend on the, the kind of lead oscillator as well. And there we go, there's our sound. Alright, thank you, thanks for listening. Cheers.